The last Uber I had was quite uncomfortable, so. <laughs> It'll be better than that. <laughs> Just watch yourself there, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, well, anyway, maybe the drone footage will come tomorrow when I'm meant to be spraying. I mean, sorry, when I'm spraying. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to whatever it is we're doing today. Um, the first job on the list is to just do a little bit of tidy up work on the uh, grasshopper here. Um, now, we have been having some issues with these valves. Now, they are obviously in the open. Originally, they're not meant to be. Um, but what we're going to do is we just didn't get time to do it when we were mucking around with the rest of it. But I've got another little box like that one up there. And I'm going to put all these valves in it, mount it onto here, um, just so we can get that out of the weather. Because what can happen is they are meant to be covered up, but yeah, you get rain, dirt, whatever going in these vent holes and um, they can eat away at the um, rubber in there and yeah, even getting chemical in there, it's not, not good for them. So um, yeah, so we're going to do that and then I've got to give it a grease and get it all set up because we're actually taking this to uh, the new lease block, which is another, what would it be, another... 30 k's or so on the other side of the development block which is about 50 k's from here so it's going to be a fair road trip kind of decided to go the extra mile um, we did have all the electrical connections all up here and they were um yeah just there was a few joins that were out in the open and wasn't pretty I think it was probably five years ago I out in the middle of the paddock had to re-solder a lot of connections here because it was just falling to pieces um, but my temporary repair has held up for quite a while but what I'm going to do is well I've already started doing but I've got the main harness going into there and then these are your fence line nozzle um, wires for the solenoids for your yeah, turn on and off your fence line nozzles. These, this wire here is quite important, it goes down to the main valve here. Um, so yeah, I've got all of them run through the gland there. I'll put some tape around that and then tighten that up and that should be all sealed up. I will have to leave a little vent hole um, in case it builds a leak. We don't want it to um, yeah, push the seal out, but um, yeah, we'll uh, just keep going here and shouldn't be too much longer. be an hour and a half and I think it's all done just ready to put the lid back on so uh, yeah I got that all mounted obviously um, there is five solenoids here we only need four but the end one doesn't work properly and it is you can't actually get them in a different order because you've got air going into one side and then they all join together and then that one doesn't have any fitting on that side so just have to leave that in there I think we do have new ones coming um, so it is going to be a little bit more of a pain but we don't want this to fail um, in the time being. So it's good to get that done. Um, shouldn't be too hard to get out. Um, all it should be is, um, yeah, just undo those and those 
two screws there and that should all pop out. Make it pretty easy, I think, but that should be all sealed. Well, that looks a bit better. Righto, big road trip coming up. Well, we made it to our destination and we've got Josiah here. He's, he's been on a road trip too. He's brought the rock picker as well. Um, yeah, there's a little bit that needs to be tidied up on this, this new lease block. Uh, but yet again, we're going to try and squish into a little cab. Why, how does this keep happening to us? Hopefully we're not going too far. Uh, At least there's a proper seat. Yeah. No. Right, everyone hands to themselves. <laughs> oh, this isn't too bad. Right, well we've quickly dumped off the rock picker there. And then we're gonna go on a D11 hunt, are we? Mm. Go and find Phil. Phil's up the back. So he's down the back and he, I think he's doing contours, isn't he? I wouldn't have put So yeah, I think there's just a few contours that need a little extra t attention. And um, yeah, then it won't be, I don't think there's a lot of rock picking to do either, is there? No. Just want to get it in, into a, a bit better shape before we sow. Obviously when you've got the crop in the ground, you can't, can't do a lot of work in there, so. It's always a mad rush to get it all done before sowing. Right, I just had my Uber driver drop me off here. And there appears to be some evidence of a D11. So this is a really sandy, bit of a sloppy soil. So the bank isn't looking that great now, but it should uh, trim up all right. I can hear a D11 over there too, actually. But I'll pick up the ute here. I might even... See if I can, oh no, there's the D11 up there. I might be too late. I was gonna get some drone footage. Huh. Ah oh well. Sometimes it doesn't all work out. 
but I've got to concentrate on finding somewhere I can cross. You knocked off too early. All oh, right. Well, you got to stop coming up to me to want to go home. <laughs> I'm your ride ticket home. Yeah, I know. Well, that was a, the last Uber I had was quite uncomfortable, so. It'll be better than that. <laughs> Just watch yourself there, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, well, anyway, maybe the drone footage will come tomorrow when I'm meant to be spraying. I mean, sorry, when I'm spraying. <laughs> <laughs> this, this paddock might be a bit interesting doing the hands free. What's that? If you're spraying and doing drone footage. Yeah, yeah, no. You might. Might I have too much faith in the, the GPS. <laughs> might have the fingers on the um, boom, booms a fair bit. I reckon this stretch here, I reckon just straight down there I'll be... Yeah, that's the peak. Yep. This is where um, last year I did the fan belts and whatever else went wrong. There's something else went wrong. Oh yeah, the bracket. I broke the bracket for the um, air con. You had no air conditioning. Yeah, so I had, didn't have air conditioning for a while, but... I'm losing track of where things are broken down on you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit rough. <laughs> I was fixing stuff this morning. Yeah. Preventative maintenance. Oh, that's good to hear. Right, eh? Well, better go home, eh? Yep. Right, eh? We'll see where we're up to tomorrow. Well, we're back here in the morning. Um, so yeah, managed to get the trailer with the chemical I need. Um, we're just going out with uh, Roundup on this brew. It's just it's been Kelly chained and, and uh, offset it and Kelly chained, so it's um, yeah just a lot of this smaller stuff that the uh, Roundup can deal with, and then obviously we're still going to have to come back in and spray before we sow. Yeah, I've just lowered the revs on that. Um, yeah, so going to be spraying here pretty much for the day. I'm hoping yeah four loads should be able to get that done today, providing nothing goes wrong. Um, yeah, see how we go. I'll try and sneak in a bit of depending how we go time wise. I'll try and sneak a bit of footage of what Phil's doing on the dozer and um, yeah we'll just have to play it a bit by ear I don't know how exactly today's going to turn out but we better get into it right well I've just done the first load got to head back to the tank so yes Phil's on tiny one there uh, ripping up having fun by the looks of it making it rather tricky for me to get through here but yes yeah, and you've got to watch out for these big wheel, wheel tracks. That's where a D6 is somewhat uh, somewhat of an advantage. Can't get the job done as quick, but it's a bit nicer for the spray operator. Well, it is well into the afternoon. Um, but I don't actually think I'm going to get a moment to put the drone up. So... Sometimes work has to come first, work before play. Um, but yeah, Phil's just on this bank here, it's a different section. Um, and yeah, he's just smoothing it off there. Probably can't see very well with the glare and the dirty windows and the dust. But um, yeah, so it is shaping up pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a shame I can't get the drone up because it is a very nice, um, picturesque little block this one, so got a good view um, in the hills a bit, so, but there'll be plenty of time for that later on, another day, another video, so we'll, uh, yeah, just trying to push hard to try and get this spraying done uh, before, yeah, I can't really go into the night because the conditions won't be suitable for spraying, so I'm just trying to really, uh, really get it done before then, so we don't cause any issues for some crops that are uh, yeah coming through the ground which is good to see in the area
finished up here. Um, yeah, just didn't get much of a chance to take much footage, to be honest. But um, yeah, we just tied in off and then uh, take everything back. And I think we're getting ready first thing next week to yeah try and put this rogator back together. So that should be interesting. Hopefully we have all the bits and pieces we need. But uh, anyway, we're going to leave it there for the minute. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like button if you did. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next one.